What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pitfall The Lost Expedition! Meditating Harry is teleporting once again, and he's being all crazy and smiley and crazy. Let's go on to the mountain teleporter this time, because that sounds like a fun place to teleport to, doesn't it? Yeah, the teleports definitely make my life a lot easier, your life a lot easier, and easier, easier, easier. I gotta sneeze, and it's gone. <laughs> Okay, so we're heading back into the mountains now, after we received our pickaxes from Miss Nicole, who seemingly has the hops for us now, because we are attractive in her eyes. Don't know why I started talking like that. Um, <laughs> I apologize to all the people that have that accent. The, 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 the accent. I was trying to think of like a nationality, but then I was like, you know what, let's not even go there. <laughs> uh, apparently there's an explorer over here. Yeah, all you need is a raft to reach this guy, and that's all I told you, Geraldine. Enough. Gracias, gracias. We haven't seen too many of these guys, have we? Hmm, no, we have not. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go back to the water now. Uh, what if I made an entire episode like this? Well, would you guys stop watching? Probably. I would personally, I would find that annoying within the first 30 seconds, and then never watch them again. <laughs> uh, I've done that before, probably. Um. Cavern Lake. That sounds like a grand old time. What is that? Hello? Whoa! Jesus! How do I? I tried. <laughs> Whoa! So, I don't actually remember what these guys are called. <laughs> but yeah, they roll into snowballs and they try to attack you that way. So you gotta stay clear of that until they hit something, and then you can go on and attack them back. And you can actually hear another one. That's what that sound was, though. So yeah, that they they have an interesting way to attack. But that's what they do. That's their lifestyle. So let's climb up this crystalline wall. Maybe it's crystalline. You guys hear me mash the control stick over and over again? I'm sure. Oh, there's nothing here. Great. Well, time to leave. Just kidding. Smash it. Smash. How do I get out of here? Uh, can I jump on your head, Mr. Idol statue? Yes, I can. Whoa, dude! Whoa, you're going crazy! It's the spindle, right? Is there, is there only one of these? Where's the other one? That's weird. Oh no! Jeez, these guys are pretty freaking powerful. Oh, he can't even trip them up like that. Wow. So I guess that's the only way to attack them is wait for them to hit the to hit a ledge. Oh no, the spindle layer. Is this the way we even want to go? Not entirely sure, to be fair, it is. What was the other way we could go? Mountain teleport. Uh, penguin den. There was another area I saw, though. It was... What? Apu Ilapu Shrine. That place is awesome. Uh, you guys will see. <laughs> Actually, I think that's... We didn't see the Penguin Temple from the Mountain Overlook. We saw this place. Look! Th that totally matches what we saw from the Mountain Overlook. That's cool. Uh, was there not... I could have sworn there was one more place. The Cavern Lake. Oh! Oh, you know what? We do want to go to the Cavern Lake. Because that's where we got the raft. And there's a there's an idol there. Let let's go back. I'm glad I remember that now. Because that would have been annoying to go back for later on. Okay, I'll just avoid that guy. Were these guys... I could have sworn these guys weren't here last time. Oh, there's another idol up there, too. This place is bigger than I remember it being. Um, don't exactly remember how to get up there, though. That seems to be another issue entirely. Where's the cavern lake again? I probably passed it without even looking because the idol distracted me. Well, maybe not. To cavern lake! Okay, we don't have to do this place all over again, thankfully. Guess this makes kind of a nice teleport too, because it teleports you from the mountain. These guys weren't here before. Wow, I did not know things changed. I'm just we don't have a beastery update on those guys yet either. Is there even like a rope here before? Wow, this place is brand new. <laughs> ah, dang it. Well, at least we got to see their attack finally. How does one? Oh, I see. So we were on the right track initially. Okay, I was gonna say I hope I make that. Well, don't really want to do this, but better safe than sorry. Alright, start the freaking long-ass climb. These guys should leave us alone now that we're on the wall. 
Wee. All right, climbing up, up, up. Oh, this does look really cool though, seeing the silhouette. Feels very Donkey Kong Country-esque, doesn't it? With the uh, black and white levels. Except the only colors are like red. Or whatever. You know, whatever you're wearing, I guess. Is there anything down here? I didn't know. I don't drop down, so let's take a look. Uh oh. There's just the checkpoints. Whoa, did not expect that. <gasps> Woo! Okay, there doesn't appear to be anything here. Seems to just be like a checkpoint. A pointless checkpoint, a pointless Oskity. Pick our way to the right. There we go. You sort of hoo noise. Um, oh, there's more. Uh, I guess there's nothing here. Should I just. Oh, man, do I just wanna. Okay, this should work. Yay! Are you guys freaking sacrificing so. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, you kidding me? What was I even stuck on? Was it the other penguin body? Wow. That was dumb. See you guys in a second. All right, I'm back. All right, let's crush these eggs again for no reason, apparently, because they, they, they're not even... Oh, they make little... Um... You see the little egg yolks, it looks delicious. The freaking torch is in the way though. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. You must die! You too will die! Wow, I can't believe those guys do two damage. Oh, there's another one! <laughs> ah! Your beak wasn't even out! <laughs> that's awesome, this guy was trapped by big woods. <laughs> Hilarious. I'll take that. All mine! Run away, little mod, before I squeeze you with my hand. Alright, um... Do I keep my stuff if I die? I don't remember. Ah, oh, it's too risky, I think. I don't want to have to restart this, so... I'm not going to make you guys watch me climb all the way back. So, see you guys in a second again. Okay, thankfully a lot easier to get back than it is to get there. So I guess that's what that checkpoint ledge was for coming back much easier all right well glad to care of that junk that jank junk now we gotta figure out how the heck to get up there well I guess we'll follow the crystal line road I guess it is this way I thought it was the other way to be honest uh-huh okay it's gonna let you be you <laughs> let you do your thing I want to call them spinjas even though they're not spinjas those guys are coming up. Those are very uh, memorable. All right, continue the climbing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come on, Mr. Link. <laughs> I, don't, I always want to call him Link, so I'm just like, I didn't do that by accident. I did that on purpose. But you know, sometimes you just call call someone Link. All right, almost there. All right, let's, let's take it easy. I want to just drop down just in case. No, go down, please. What the heck? Why can't I go down? Where am I? Okay, that scared me. I thought I was gonna fall. All right, we're we're okay now. Right, be very careful. Gotcha. Uh, I guess since I am having so many issues here, apparently, let's take a look and make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, there's a shaman here. Where the heck is he? Hmm. Where the heck can he possibly be? It's interesting how there's so many things in this game, so I'm just like, what? Oh, he's over there. How do I get over there? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa. Uh, we might actually... Hmm. Once we're done with this area, we might end up over there. Just gonna let that guy do his thing. A weird thing to say, I realize, what's interesting how these guys are, they, these, like, guys that roll you, they, they appear to have dark skin. Which is weird. Because, you know, they're up in the mountains, you'd think they'd have pale white skin, right? Hmm. I mean, unless, I guess they moved up here from the... Well, I guess that might make sense if they moved up, because the jungle's right there. Aw. Oh, what just happened? Okay, I was gonna say. Jeez. 
I guess actually that does make sense, because if they're from the jungle, it does make sense they would have dark skin, right? And, I mean, this place does seem very accessible from the jungle, so... Yeah, let me, oh, this is the mountain teleport. Oops, probably should have paid attention to what area I was going into. Especially with this place where there's like a million different ways to go. A million billion! We made like no progress in this episode. Get out of my way! Spindle air. Spindle air! There we go, that's where we want to go. And I remember this giving me hell as a kid as well. Let's see how well we do this time. A bunch of explosions going off over there. St. Clair's men, I guess? I actually don't remember St. Clair's men being here at all, but apparently they are. Aha. So this is an interesting little thing. There's this little iceberg. This is the only like little platform for you to go on. So, oh no! I totally thought I had my pickaxes out. Whoopsies! Goes back out. Uh. Haha, ah, there you go. I'm gonna go on the iceberg. The berg of ice. The, ber the Fergie of the Bergies. Do we go... I don't remember if we go to there from here or not. I think it's really... Well... Let's take a look. Oh, that does not look like a thing you should be able to make at all. Alright, let's go to the left. I don't think we can make it to the right there. Let's pray we don't get hit by dynamite. Dynamite! There we go. Look out that. Go through. It's in a Whoa, watch out, spinjas! Good pickaxes and yeah. It's interesting how they specifically tell you to fight these guys, because there is no this is like the easiest way to so, What the heck? Come on, dude. Just bounce off the walls here. Ah. Alright, careful there. I wonder if my um Oh, there we go. Yeah, I guess we gotta hit him twice. I, I wonder if my uh, ground pound attack thing would work on him. It's interesting. Oh, they don't. Are those pickaxes or are those just like little sickles? Maybe they are like primitive pickaxes. Cool. It's also really interesting how they call pickaxes when that's not Minecraft silly. <laughs> I played Minecraft before. I know what a pickaxe looks like. That's not them. What? Ooh. Okay, alright. Uh, take care of these guys quickly. Woo! Where'd he go? There he, oh, he's behind this statue. What is that statue spinning old TNT for? What a very sophisticated statue to be able to build TNT. <laughs> An idol's right there. Interestingly easy. I guess the ice is supposed to pose a challenge, but it's really not. The cool feels like hidden, like if that river extended farther there and it like went around a corner or something. Maybe then that would be a bit more challenging. Hey look, there's a waterfall! Well, let's go behind it, see what's here. Oh, there's nothing. <laughs> For the first time in this game, there's a waterfall with nothing behind it. I know, Ooh. it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Alright, that's filled. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, nothing over there. Oh yeah, spin jokes. Okay, you can hit these guys. Oh crap, okay, let's actually try. Oh no. Okay, you can get them with your ground pound move. Well, that's the only reason why I got on there is because I uh, wasn't spinning yet. The only thing is, the ground pound move, you really gotta predict where they're gonna be since it takes so long to activate. Yeah, that's not working too well. Let's start taking care of these guys the old fashioned way. Oh man. <laughs> they're all over here now. I think guys ever get just stuck like that. <laughs> oh, he wasn't really stuck. Uh, yeah, that's not effective. Unfortunately. Yeah, the only way to really get speed apparently is to hit Oh, yes! Uh, I guess we don't really even need to kill these guys either, but... It feels like almost like a thing I should do. No, see enemies, you gotta defeat them to move on. So are the guardians to this place. No! Oh. I instinctively wanna, like... Um, start spinning when I see those guys, but when I see them... Help! What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I was just wondering if you needed some help. So, what's your story? You fall into pits a lot, or is that just a family name? You don't want to know about my family. Oh, it couldn't be that bad. My old man loved adventuring more than us. One day, he just split. 
A professor at the local natural history museum, Dr. Crane, taught me everything I know. Me? I learned by keen observation, coupled with animal instinct. <laughs> uh, but you're lucky you had a teacher. Yeah, well, Dr. Crane and I don't speak anymore. He was angry when I dropped out of school to become an explorer. You let him down. That word down depresses me. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go look for some up. Aww. <laughs> Interesting how Quick Claw really kind of ruins the mood there. Pitfall's telling a sad story. How <clears throat> his dad just disappeared one day. Uh, I mean, it does make sense for Crane to be disappointed in him to become an explorer since, you know, that is the whole reason why... Oh, oh that guy was not who I thought it was. I thought it was a Spinja. Um, yeah, it's like, you know, Harry spent his entire life hating his father for become, for being an adventurer, and then, like, Crane takes him in, and then he just kind of does the same thing. I think Crane and, uh, Harry's father were colleagues or friends or something. I don't know, I don't, that might be a plot point later, I'm not entirely sure, but that's just kind of the feeling I get from them. Um... So, I mean, it makes sense, because, you know, like, his father disappointed him. And probably pissed off Crane, too, because now he had to look after his child. And then, you know, Harry does the same thing. After everything he taught him, he just leaves and does his own crazy thing. Like, father like son. I should end up this episode, actually. I don't know why I started coming here. Oh, yeah. My infamous first rage on my channel is coming up. My first big rage, I guess. Is there anything even up here? Oh, cool. Okay, so you see these guys up here. Uh, it's the snowball guys. So I guess that's your hint that you have to defeat them all in this area. And I actually forgot about that, so... Yeah, I guess that's a fair enough hint. So let's take a look at all our journal entries. I'm sure we have a few. Maybe one. One. Entry entry 20. During 25th, 1935, 3.47 p.m. Ran to Quick Clock. Can't believe what I unloaded on him. But my loser of a dad and how I disappointed Dr. Crane, who was more of a real father to me anyway. I haven't thought about that stuff in years. Probably all this about Nicole and McAllister got me thinking about it. Maybe if I get out of this alive, I should forget it. Put that aside. Gotta stay focused. Gotta find Nicole. Hmm. Uh, be straight. We should have new things in here now, right? Ha! Huh, there's something missing. Not entirely sure what that could be. I hope we run into it soon. Snowballer! These guys are nasty. Their mass seems to be reinforced and can take a lot of punishment. When they get close, they use that as an unstoppable weapon. My best bet is to keep my distance. Then they'll start rolling at me in a snowball. If, if I could dodge this, they'll usually slam to something and get dazed for a bit. That's my window of opportunity for a little payback. And finally, Spinjas. Spinja. These guys love to lay it in wait for me and then attack at the last moment. They'd be really dangerous if they didn't spaz out so much. Once they start their spin attack, though, they could really knock me for a loop and I can't punch back through the wall of blades so my best bet is to fight fire with fire in this case spin with spin all right thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you like if you like these videos the best way to support me is to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so thank you so much for that um, in the next one we'll explore this snowy wasteland of d death and doom I, I don't know <laughs> uh, we're also gonna kill us some snow bowlers Let's see if we can get that idol to come up and say hi to us. So, till next time, I'll see you guys later. Let's, let's go over here just for consistency's sake. Start over here. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye bye!